Well, the aftermath of the hurricane, it's a weekend where we kind of settled down a little bit weather-wise yeah. yeah. this year. And you want to uh, clean off all the drains, because yesterday we had mm -hmm. the big problem with a lot of rain, and yeah. a lot of the drains are still clogged. We had so. a lot of rain, by the way, yeah. yesterday. A lot. Yes. And we could see that again today, uh. so you want that rain to get out of here, not to just We do. We want to clean up. We like to clean up a little more, yeah. but uh, for right now, things are pretty quiet, yeah. although we do see a few showers that are moving through the area, and uh, real-time Doppler. Uh, picks that up. Uh, so a little bit of activity right now. One uh, shower moving through uh, parts of Broward County just went right over the Sawgrass Expressway. Big, big area here. It's north of 75 and it will continue to intensify. No lightning with this. Just a brief downpour. One other one here in southern Miami Dade. This will pass just north of Homestead and the Keys also uh, getting a few spotty showers moving in. There's a lightning strike picked up, so you might hear a rumble of thunder here as these storms continue to move through. Pretty quiet. Uh, the Biscayne Bay camera looks uh, out in the temperatures in the upper 70s, so it's off to a nice, comfortable start, but we'll be into the upper 80s here uh, this afternoon. Only 80s right now in the Keys and Key West and Marathon. Now, watching Hurricane Maria, it's uh, still Category 3 storm moving north northwest now. It was northwest, uh, just past north of Turks and Caicos, and now turning to the north northwest. It will continue that general motion, uh, but between Tuesday and Wednesday, a little uncertainty here about how close it gets to the outer banks as it continues to go down to a Category 1 storm, still a, a powerful storm, and then turning off to the northeast. Now, we show you these ensemble forecasts that give us a good idea on uh, how certain we are of a forecast track. They're all grouped together between now and Tuesday. No question uh, this continues to move north and it will stay off the coast here of South Florida and even up through Georgia and the Carolinas. But once it gets closer to the outer banks here, a little uncertainty. A few computer forecasts here track to, to take it a little closer to the coast and then lift it out to the northeast. So we'll certainly watch that closely here this Tuesday and Wednesday. It's down to a category one, but still a powerful storm and actually a large storm. Uh, so we'll certainly watch that closely. Uh, Tropical Storm Lee is back and maybe just forecast to become hurricane as it loops out in the Atlantic. A few spotty showers will continue to move through the area today with showers and storms. These could lead to brief flooding downpours and the future weather computer also shows that we have some drier air that's coming in uh, from the north. Here's our extended forecast. We have breezy storms and a mix of sun and clouds with just a few isolated storms Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures are all above 90 degrees.